Hey, Fight Commentary Breakdowns here. A lot of you recommended Swordfish, which is a HEMA league in Sweden, I believe. So, hey, something good coming out of Sweden besides IKEA. And so this is the final. It's the third and fourth place longsword final, I believe. I think that's what it said. So, longsword. I've never seen longsword. We've seen the traditional fencing stuff, right? Where they take the little sword with one hand. But this is two-handed. This is really interesting. Oh, this is cool. So. And this is not continuous. So every time they reset after some person gets thrusted or slashed. Oh, okay. Yeah, he got it on the neck. Bam. Okay, they both hit each other. Female referee standing in the way. So I guess that didn't count because they both hit each other. So. It gets tangled up. What do you do? Do, do punches and kicks count? Do takedowns count? So it's brave. Oh, man. This isn't as fun if you don't allow for punches and kicks and takedowns. Whatever. People, they're literally trying to slash and stab at each other. Oh, he got that guy. The purple guy got hit in the chest. Watch that. Bam. See that? So. One point for the black guy. Black guy. For the guy in black. Oh, great hit. Purple guy hit him first. Boom, see that? Although he, he got him in the head too. Interesting. The scoring is... So it only counts head hits? All right, let, let us watch this and figure that out. So you're only aiming for the head, eh? Oh. Did that hit the head? Oh, no, it hit the, hit the arm and then the hand. She didn't count as a point. Very interesting. Body hits don't count as a point either. Oh, he got him in the body. Wow. And then they both got each other. Okay. So blue got a point. This point system is really weird. Ooh, look at that. Used one hand there. See, he used one hand and then he, bam, right there to the face. Guy in blue got him in the face. Or guy in purple. Hey, at least they can thrust. Unlike the night league that we've been watching, the night leagues, the two M1 and the other one, they can't thrust at all, so... Very interesting. I wonder if you can use the blunt end of your sword sometimes. You know, sometimes your sword gets tangled. You use the other end of the sword. Don't know if that's you. You can do that or not, or it's against the rules. And man, this is making me wanna wanna do this. I'm kind of excited. He's like, no more. Does it say Waterloo or Waterlog on his shirt? That is the little emblem on his shirt. So let's do this. Let us. Who do you guys think will win? I'm rooting for the guy with the red band 
and wearing black. So I'm rooting for this guy. I think this guy's got it. I just don't like this guy's purple. <laughs> I'm not judging in a very scientific way here. But I don't like his purple. All right. And the guy I'm rooting for is in the lead. So let's go. I wonder what, what the referee's going to do with that stick. If, let's say, the fight doesn't break up, he's just going to smack him with a stick. Sticks for swords. That was... Let's look at that. So. Strike to the hand, but then... Someone... Yeah. Wow. I like how they light up the areas that got hit. That's very cool. It's crazy how quick these strikes are. My cousin, who's getting married soon, he, he took fencing lessons, a lot of them, when he was young. So I wish I could bring him on, but I haven't talked to him in years, so I don't know. What he's up to. So. I think that's a little unscientific, the scoring, because let's say you hit him in the arm and he hits you in the arm. There should be some kind of points for both because in a real fight, if you hit him in the arm, he might be able to still kill you, right? So there's... I. I hope there's a change in the scoring system because I'm seeing a lot of hits that are not being scored and it makes this not as enjoyable. Oh, let's watch that again. Oh, he got him in the upper leg area. So the score system, the scoreboard person is really bad. One time I did scoreboard for the, for a baseball game. This was back in high school. I didn't know anything about baseball. So maybe that's what the person doing the scoreboard doesn't know anything about fencing. So feel his pain. Yeah, that's a funny story I should tell sometime. But I worked the scoreboard at a local Little League baseball game, and I knew nothing about baseball. But it was for, um, we had to do community service hours to, to graduate high school, so I was just getting my community service hours out of the way. <laughs> Did he get the foot? Let's, let's watch that again. Oh, he did get the foot. Wow. I think our guy in blue or purple needs to really step it up because he's trailing a lot. He's got cool shoes, though. I didn't notice the teal shoes, but... <sighs> oh, excuse me, sorry. He's not color-coordinated. That's the truth. Oh, oh, wow. You know, this referee in the middle should wear some armor. She's next to swords, man. I, I don't think it's a smart idea to wear... She's not wearing any armor. The swords could go flying or something and hit her. So, yeah, that's... I see a lot of problems with this. I'm not a big fan of this, honestly. But then again, this is Sweden. Okay, sorry, guys. Sorry, my viewers in Sweden. You know, you guys get shit on a lot because of all the stuff that's going on in your country. So... I was just joining the club for a second, but I love my Swedish audience just like I love my Russian audience and my Vietnamese audience. So that was the game point. Oh, right there. He he got it and then bam, he smacked him in the head. And look at the look at the referee standing so close. 
So I see this was this is that was the that was the losers bracket. Let's go to the winners bracket. Let's go to here we go. Ivan Novishenko versus Denis. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name Junkist. So why so many consonants in the Scandinavian language? Novishenko is probably Eastern European. How did Vikings, right? The Scandinavians and, and Eastern Europeans are all Viking descendants, but somehow their languages differ so much. Maybe because the Mongols came in and pillaged in the R word, all the Russians and stuff. So maybe, maybe the language has some that influence. So Novishenko hit him, I think. Or no, he didn't. Interesting exchange. Watching these videos recently, guys, makes me really want to LARP. I really want to learn how to, you know, I've practiced sword before, but like kung fu swords. So I've never, I've never been able to spar like this before. Great little one. Did you see that? He actually blocked. He hit and then turned and blocked. So even though, guys, this is a longshore tournament, because these aren't authentic long swords, in a, in real life, for those of you who've done HEMA or LARPed or are weapons experts, I don't believe you can just swing a long sword with one hand so freely and easily, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like the long sword in real life, I mean, maybe I'm just thinking of Braveheart, so <laughs> he's, uh, I'm thinking of that really long sword, but... I don't know, it just seems like these swords are very light for... That was an interesting exchange. Let's let's look at this again. Novichenko, okay, he went for the... He went for the leg. I feel like he overextended a little. It's a little off balance. Interesting. All right. He slides away at the thrust. Very cool. I'm thinking of the golf swing. No one's trying to do the golf swing. Everyone's striking you know, from above. No one trying to go below up. Maybe that's not allowed because you might hit someone in the groin or something. Sure, they, I'm sure there were cups, right? It's kind of an epic way to lose your balls if you, know, you lose in a tournament like this. I don't know what I'm talking about. By the way, talking about balls, it's almost testicular cancer awareness month. So all of you should check your balls. Like, don't squeeze them, but just like, like feel them, apply some pressure. And it should be all soft. If you feel anything that's like your knuckles, like it feels that kind of consistency, you gotta go to the doctor. So one of my audience emailed me and asked me to talk about that. So I'm gonna give a little PSA. Remember, um, don't squeeze your balls, don't squeeze them too hard, but like apply some firm pressure and just, when you're in the shower next time, in fact, I'm gonna do it tonight, just apply some firm pressure on your testicles and just f make sure there's no areas that feel like it's your knuckle, that type of hardness. So anyways, back to the fight. I should do a PSA like this every fight. So the judges are talking about something. I don't know what. So it's six to one, Novyshenko's 
in the lead. All right, here they go. That long short is too light. Right after this video, I'm going to look up if Los Angeles has any fencing institutes. I'm actually really, really excited about this. It's, it's something I've always wanted to do. All right, you can do it. Come on, Blue, I'm rooting for you. You're the underdog here. What happens if you step out of the ring? I th do you get a point if you drive the other guy out of the ring? Oh yeah, it's it's three. So you, you if you drive him out of the ring, it's three to six. Come on, scoreboard person, you're late. Okay, that's cool. Oh, did you see that Novichenko cut the other guy in the head? That was a great, so watch this, bam, and then he just followed up. Look at that smack. Why is that only one point, though? Oh, whatever. Oh, that was awesome. That was pure speed right there. Look at that, he just went in, boom. Wow. All right. Come on, purple person. Ooh, he attempted a thrust. Pushed him out, too. That was pretty good. Look at that thrust attempt. Okay, I don't... He might have paid for it, though. Novichenko hit him first, I believe. No, never mind. I wonder what that lady's qualifications are. I want to see her. I want to see her fight. All right. Oh no. Novichenko got a point deduction. I guess he had two fouls or whatever, unfortunately. Or this is just the Scandinavian's way of rigging it to Let's look at that. Oh, he hit him in the hand. All right, it's tied now. All right. You can do it. I like this match better than the previous match. I don't know why. Wow. I want to see that again. So, he goes, oh, he, Novoshenko got him in the belly area. Very cool. Score's not updating? Okay, whatever. Who got him? Ooh. Leg again. Suspense. They're being both very careful. Novichenko's getting ready for something. Ah, see, I knew he would attack first. Let's see what happened in that exchange. Oh, he hit him first. Wow. Wait, what? He hit him first, though. 
This is rigged. This is so rigged, man. What is this? It's rigged against Eastern Europeans. Okay. Hopefully they have a replay of it because I swear Novoshenko got him first. What? Not fair. Not fair. This is not fair. Not fair. Okay, okay. Let's watch this. All right. Not fair. Right there, right there. Let's look at this. Actually, while we're at it, let's look at it in slow motion. Not fair. You are not fair. Not fair. All right. So, he... Is it because our, our Viking guy hit the Russian in the face? And the Russian only got him in the hand? Hmm. Yeah, let's look up swordfish rules because I am a little confused. Swordfish Sweden rules. Oh, rules and legal. Rules and legal. So Malmo each year. Uh, no, we we'll call full rule set. We go to four rules set. Doctor, stimul, synthetic, rules for stopping a match, referee stop, weight class, role of the doctor, protective gears. You have to have all this protection, procedure. Offenses must announce the presence to your corners. Since the time is up, fences will go to their corners, points awarded, tap out, three taps on the mat. It means you surrender. Judges and referees, point for red, point for blue. Uh, scoring. Oh, I see. That's how it works. So if two judges award two points for blue and two judges award two, that's counted as a no exchange. If two judges award points for the same fencer and two call it a double hit, it is counted as a double hit. If two judges award points for the same fencer and two call an after blow, it is counted as an after blow. Note that this is only true if both judges call the same after blow. If not, one calls after blow, not if one calls after blow on red and the other on blue. If both judges call after blow on the same fencer, then two judges call a double hit, it is counted as an after, after blow. In order to score two points, Two judges must agree that the fencer score two points. If one judge calls one point and another two points for the same fencer, is counted as one point. Oh my God. This is absolutely just complicated. So there's a timekeeper, a scorekeeper. Oh my God. Hey, look at that. It's seconds, but spelled with the British way. Match time. You could protest. Scoring a point, you could, you could slice, you could thrust, you could cut. So, a slice is rewarded a point if it is done with some force and a slicing motion. A thrust, if it's has more power than a light tap, cuts are counted if they are applied with some speed and more than just a light tap or to pummel. Oh, you can pummel, not to be done with the cross guard. Oh, but only award points if they hit the mesh of the mask. The strike must be handled, handed out with some force. So you can pummel. Throws. You can throw, too. Uh, I see. The one performance throw, you can ground control a lot. Hand, foot are not awarded. Oh, you can't punch your knee. Oh, man. You cannot, you cannot use your bare hands. I see. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, eh, whatever. Wasn't as fun as I thought, honestly. I'm just being honest. I mean, I thank you guys for for showing me this, but it just it feels like it's too many rules. And if they fought and then separated and then fought and separated, and we had a clear guide as to what the scoring is, but the scoring seems so subjective. Oh, you judges can have to agree on this. Oh, one hit, two hit, after blow, all this stuff. It just 
Like, it just, it's, it seems exactly like Scandinavia. It's needlessly complicated. Like, the rules for this seem like it's an Ikea couch. I'm being honest. I feel like it's the Ikea couch of HEMA. You literally have so many rules needlessly complicated for a simple thing, which is watch people hit each other with swords. So, Scandinavia's man, you just complicate everything. And, I mean, the thing is, are I, is Ikea furniture that much better? Does it wear away less? I mean, is it stronger? Like, if you fall drunk on your bed, is it not gonna collapse? I don't know. So, you have to have groin protector, you have to have mask, you have to have throat protection, you have to have gloves, fencing jacket, joint protection. And then you can also wear a mouth guard, neck protection, gloves, breast guard for women. Interesting. Oh, look at that. It's in Swedish. I'm just kidding. I don't know Swedish. All right, guys. This was HEMA, the 2017 sword fighting. And this was fight commentary breakdowns. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is needlessly complicated? Um... Have you guys ever taken part in fencing matches? I'm really curious. All right, talk to you guys soon. I'm going to look at a continuous fencing match soon. So it'll be a different feel because instead of having it separated every time there's a hit, they just continue going until someone reaches a point threshold or until the time ends. All right, bye-bye.